Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I am Sully, and today, fellas, I'm bringing you some NHL 16 beta gameplay. ESHL, of course, and I hope you guys are loving the beta, because I am too. I actually wanted to make this video because Kanak and I sort of came up with this idea, discussed it on the podcast, but I'm putting a halt to it. I'm tagging EANHL. I hope you guys like the video because it will notify them. I hope they see it because I have an idea. Kanak and I sort of talked about it talked about multiple times i think it's a great idea it, it it helps you it helps ea it helps everyone so i want to drop it I'm gonna make it a little bit humorous but bear with me but keep in mind i understand that you guys need to understand at the end of the day it's a business up for ea it's about making the benjamins and it's like my uncle Lil wayne said oh what's the line it was like something like have some stacks better grab an umbrella i make it rain i make it rain on these you already know what i'm saying but it's about that it's about getting the moolah and this idea is really good i really like it because i came up with it i ain't biased or nothing but ea listen to me this is for nhl 17 because you can't put it in in 16 i don't think i don't know what their capabilities are i've never been out there but this is my idea so let me stop talking about it. let me actually tell you the idea e-a-s-h-l is ripe for the picking with a CSGO type skin marketplace where you earn, you know, coins after each game enough to buy a case, however CSGO does it, or they can do packs, a pack, and you can get skins. You can get skins for primarily I would keep it to sticks and gloves. You get or not sticks and gloves, sticks and skates. You can get skins for those. And then you can sell them on the marketplace. Now how the currency would work, I honestly don't know. Maybe it could be like hut because you, you can't really I don't know. I don't know how that idea would work. But EASHL is ripe for uh EA to make skins for these sticks that aren't like Bauer and CCM. You could get like COD how they have lightning bolts that actually like a lightning storm that actually moves on the gun. Imagine that on your stick like that would be pretty sick. And I know you guys would like it cuz I would I would, who wouldn't want a lightning storm on their hockey stick? Could you imagine a close up and seeing all these lightning bolts moving around the stick? Like that would be sick. I think you guys would like it. I think EA would love it because, hey, you can make you can buy these packs with money, or you can buy them with coins, just like Hut. And so they could come out with uh, their you know packs or like Team of the Week equivalent, where they have like new ideas or skins. You know, you could do a stick with like Ovi's face on it. I don't know, like. You could do an Ovi specific design. You could do like a Sidney Crosby if they have a great week in hockey. Um, or, you know, you could do it for their skates. I don't know. I was thinking of something along those lines. I think it would be pretty cool. And I think it would have the benefit of it would continue to go throughout the game because unlike Hut, like I don't know what the how many packs they sell during the downtime of Hut. Like right now is the is the i would say quote unquote dead period for the hut market and i don't know if people are going to be spending that much money for packs but could you imagine if they had the cs go type marketplace uh people would still i think ideally depending on the designs of sticks or skates or whatever people would still want to try and get that cool design and who knows man maybe because it's a year-to-year -year game they could have your skins carry over because ideally you know, they would make new designs for next year, and but you could keep those old ones, so it's not like you're losing, uh, you know, all the things that you collected. And then think about that. You could have, like, old skins still coming back. Now, programming, you know, programming, that may be an issue, but that would be sick. And it works for EA because they're making money out of EASHL, and it's giving them a return on their on profit, and they get a return with the packs and hut. So they're getting money from every, they're getting revenue from every angle of the game that you can. I mean, you're not going to be selling packs in GM mode, but like people spend hundreds of dollars on CSGO for these stupid skins that don't even change the game. And I think it would work great because who doesn't want like a cool design on their stick? You know, that helps diversify you even more from the skater on the other team. And so I think it's great, man. I think it's awesome. I think it's a great idea because I came up with it. Now, 
I only ask, uh, you know, if EA does do this for NHL 17, I only ask in return that uh, I am flown out, you know, like a game changer. And I would also like uh, a Sully on Tap Twitch TV stick that people can get. I would also like my name featured on the menus at all times so people could see, you know, Sully on Tap just at the bottom, right? You know, with my Twitch logo, something along those lines. I'm not asking for much or I can go straight royalties. You know, I can buy a house up in the uh, up in L.A., give myself a Lamborghini. I could meet Ace Hood. We can wake up in our Lamborghinis together. I think it's a great idea. So that's my idea for NHL 17 EASHL because I don't think even, let's just say for kicks and giggles, EA's like, wow, man, this silly guy is on to something. We should actually do that. Well, they're not going to implement it this year. I mean, they could. I don't even think so. I don't even think it's a possibility. I mean, who knows? They could. But my, I think this is shooting for next year. So what do you guys think? I think, again, I can't say this enough, I think it's a bona fide brilliant idea, because ESHL really is a fan service. Like, when you think about the game, like, Hut brings revenue throughout the year, but EASHL, for them to put so much effort, you know, people will say, like, EA is all about the money. I mean, I'd be too if I was in that situation, but it, if you think about it, you know, like, it... it they don't really make anything off EASHL. Like, putting all this effort in the NHL 16 EASHL is not going to bring them a, a profit back in return, like, compared to Hut Packs. You know, yeah, they may sell, like, more copies of the game, but I guarantee you that the money they made off Hut Packs probably makes up well over that differential of people who skipped buying nhl 15 on next gen and those people who skipped nhl 15 on next gen probably bought the game on uh 360 or ps3 and if you're a sucker like me i got it on ps4 360 and xbox well i got it for sort of free on xbox i had ea access but either way i think you guys know what i'm saying i think this commentary is running a little bit long so let me know down below if you guys think that's a cool idea also if you like the video and you have a twitter uh it'll go straight to ea uh their twitter feed so let them know that hey this silly guy may have something that you guys want to check out so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section your feedback have a great day i am silly peas the millies and don't forget i like spice on my rice i am out have a great day guys